Back pain can range from a dull, constant ache to a sudden, sharp pain that makes it hard to move. From 60 to 80% of individuals will experience it at some point in their life. It has enormous sociological impact, being the second most common reason for absenteeism and for GP visits, and it is costly to the healthcare system worldwide. In Ireland alone, annual costs exceed 2.5 billion euro. Hi, my name is Masuma and I'm a PhD candidate at Trinity Centre for Bioengineering. Previous studies have established that degeneration of the intervertebral disc contributes heavily to the onset of low back pain. So what is an intervertebral disc? A disc lies in between each of the vertebra in a spinal column. It consists of two parts, the central nucleus pulposus and the surrounding annulus fibrosus. In intervertebral disc degeneration, the nucleus pulposus loses its water content and consequently loses its shock absorbing characteristics. It is this loss of function that is associated with low back pain. My research is focused on investigating the specific environmental conditions that can aid in repair of the nucleus pulposus. I propose to do this by way of combining a biomaterial with cells and maintain this complex under IBD-like environmental conditions. Stem cells possess significant potential and provide a more readily available and clinically feasible source of cells for disc repair therapies. Future cell therapy is likely to entail supplementary stem cells being injected into the nucleus pulposus region along with a suitable biomaterial that would ideally be injectable, biocompatible and biodegradable. Alginate is a naturally occurring anionic polymer that has been used for numerous biomedical applications. By virtue of its properties and mild gelation conditions, alginate has gained the acceptance of researchers worldwide as a matrix for the purpose of cell-based delivery strategies. Considering the harsh microenvironment of the intervertebral disc, it is vital to maintain the cell biomaterial complex under IBD-like conditions. Accordingly, our constructs are maintained in low glucose and low oxygen. Ultimately, the goal of my research is to combine an optimum biomaterial with viable cells to form a cell biomaterial complex, which may be injected into the central nucleus pulposus and promote the repair and regeneration of the intervertebral disc and restore biomechanical function using minimally invasive strategies.